Episode 2. Now we continued our adventure searching around the map looking for raid tools. During this time we got into a heated gunfight at Nabbor military and sadly we died. But this gave us a chance to loot up north to return back to Darnock with something promising. Here is where we continue our story. Still can't see any bodies, mate. There's a bit of everywhere, there's nothing. Actually, you come in the entrance, you go to the Armour 3 barrack on your right hand side, the shed. Bavis 1. There's nothing around. On the left. There's nothing around it. What's the first thing you do when oh, spawning? Well, mine is a water source. Bodies. So I drank up at the water pump and continue to head down south. Me. What's a lettuce head? No, she just ate lettuce all the time. Fucking oh. boring. I feel like you, mate, with your Tabasco sauce, man. Oh, I fucking love Tabasco sauce, but I don't ever. Right, I'm 200 meters out. Let's see if I can get anything at all. 1.4. Hey dude, I'm friendly. Friendly, friendly. Hello. How you doing, buddy? Hello, I'm friendly. I'm friendly. Hey, do you... Where are you um... from? What? Where are you from? I'm from uh, the UK. Where are you from, buddy? What Where are you from? Do you know? I can't do hear you, you with your mask. Me? Come in, come in. There's a guy here. Come in. All the gear is gone. What the fuck was that? Hey, the bodies have despawned. Oh shit, he died! How the fuck did he die? Must have starved to death, or do you have No, I used a grenade. Oh, nice. I had a gr what the fuck? What the fuck? I didn't think he would die. I think this is the guy that I killed. This should yeah, be a simple yeah. reminder to the player to trust no one. I had gotten everything I needed for now and headed towards an apple factory where I'd meet Vaughn to continue to head back home. God damn it, I always find those plates and now I want one, I can't fucking find one. Where are you? Sorry. I'm on the main road, running past all the destroyed buildings, heading oh, down room. towards the garages. Sheds near Brick Industrial. They're dead. Ooh. That's recent then. All time. Nice. That body is super recent, dude. Oh, it's hot. Oh, you can actually see, see the body? Yep. Must have happened whilst I was locked down. Pulling back. Get some height. Where is this body? Near that building we were at the other day where I got shot. Oh, yeah. Near the uh, brick industrial. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had a lot of M4 mags on him, but no M4. Mm -hmm. I got two 60 rounders on me at the moment. I guess you have to do it with a custom camouflage one. Inside. Got a plate view here. Nice. 
nice, thank you. Good time, good time. I'm gonna check out that body again. Though. Oh mate, it was a trade. It was a trade. Oh nice. Anything good on them? One has a uh, AAC honey. Honey badger, nice. I can move it now. I've got loads of backpack space. <gasps> a stahl hand granat. Yeah, what? mein Vater. What? I have, a, I have my grandfather's hand grenade. What are you Where are you? About, I'm on the roof. Tom, Tom, will, Tom will get it. Look, oh, Tom will get it. Come down. My, look at my trousers as well. Tom will get my trousers. And then I have granddad's hand grenade, yeah. <laughs> German fun. hand grenade from World War II. <laughs> oh. oh, you. Oh, you better. Watch out for players, mate. There's always players in bloody town there. Go down, go down. We had found a base in a complete wilderness, so I decided to check what was inside to see if there was anything juicy for us to take. Little did I know I was going to be stuck here for an incredible amount of time. Uh, I'm inside. Put a roof, don't jump in. Don't, don't jump in, don't jump in because I'm stuck. Eventually, after returning back to base, Vaughn came back to bring a crowbar and break me out of this hell hole. Finally, after 20 minutes of waiting, we managed to escape. We continued to head down south 
to down it to see what remained of our base oh. and to deposit anything we had gathered. Just uh, lay down, get crawling, mate. Grab some water next to it. During our time in base, we had received the notification an airdrop was inbound on our location. So I quickly pushed out to check for door campers before we proceeded up north of the town yeah, to see yeah, what yeah. was there. For the moment, yeah. uh, over there in the trees. Space, space, space. Someone's built around the uh, flat roof. The gate's barred off. There's a base in the uh, tin. Player, player at tin. Player at tin. Tin. Yeah, metal doors, man. Tin. Tin house. White flag. You know, the large container. I was totally astounded. Within the space of two days, they had built a massive base, which was fortified around the whole perimeter. I can't see that. It's a lot of building. All right, someone's coming to the drop. There's two of them, mate, two of them. My shots, my shots. I'm getting pushed. <laughs> Killed one. I got a full auto SGK. Let me see if he's alive, the other guy. Oh, buddy. Oh, they're both dead, mate. Both dead. I killed them both. Yeah, I killed them both. One had an AWM with Max. Loads of food on him. I was completely astounded there was a large base in town built within two days. Shocked about the two kills, I took everything of value and returned home. We scanned over the enemy base to look for weaknesses and this is where I saw the opportunity. I guess where we haven't been down here in a while. Down here. Trees are still fresh. 
practical sir. I'm at the front, there's a car here. I'm gonna try and use the car to boost like up. Yep, I can get over through the car. Now this right here, this is what you see. That was our opportunity. Play your own flat roof, and you'll see why. Ground floor, left side, as you walk in the entrance. Gonna try and get eyes. Oh. Tell him to come out with his hands up and we won't kill him. You took if you come outside with your hands up, we won't kill him. I have a heavy breaching charge and a C4 back at my base and it's not too far away. So what would you like to do? You let us into your base with the door open. We have a look about what you've got. We won't take everything. Just a couple of magazines, maybe a gun or two, and then we'll leave. Or like we can kill you. In that base. What inside that base as well? There's five of them. Yeah, he's in there, mate. What are you gonna do? You're gonna come out with your hands up? Me. Gotta well, talk to me, dude. Well, you will, you... If you come up with your hands up, we won't shoot you. We'll let you live. So you're yeah, gonna have to trust you... us. But you destroy everything, right? I oh, don't know. Well, only if you don't agree with us. Only if you don't do what we say. If you, if you do what we say, we'll leave you alone. Then you can just open the gate and we'll walk out of here and we'll all be happy. Ten sec. Hey, can you hear me? Well, we are two days here. We have nothing. Mate, you yep. got ten, well, ten you seconds. You got ten seconds to come out. Ten seconds to come out. Or I start tossing grenades inside and we push. Keep it. Are you alone? Come. Very good. Close to the wall, mate. They don't get shot. Cause he might have good been. man. Over here, dude. Over here. What are you doing? Where? So where's the guy with the LAR? Do you have the LAR? Oh, uh, wait. I need to ask. We don't have a LAR. Somebody was shooting at me with an LAR. I have a SVG. Okay, so you're gonna go on the Discord, aren't you? And you're gonna look. At, you're gonna look at the rules. Because yeah. I've read the rules and I know that I can't loot cycle. And you've built this base really quickly, so you've clearly been loot cycling. And I've seen all the stuff it. on the floor. Cool. So yeah. don't do it. Please. Well, we are eight persons. <laughs> you're eight people. Okay, but still, even though you're eight people, you can't loot cycle. I've already given evidence to the admins for it, so they will be watching. I don't know what your name is. What what is your name? Kate. Huh? Kate. Kate. Nice to meet you, Kate. Yeah, well. So Kate, where are you from? Are you from Germany? Of yeah. Deutschland? Okay. Yep. Very nice. Very nice. Well we live nearby. We live about three thousand meters away from here. Three kilometers. So we're kind of neighbours. 
Oh, we're normally friendly. We're normally friendly, but uh, we couldn't take the chance seeing how many of you there were. So we had to kill your friends, I'm sorry. Okay, oh well. But it's I all good, we we're all friends again. now. Oh yeah, we'll see you again. We like we like this town, it's good for nails. <laughs> Lots of nail spawns. I guess so your you friends are getting many... close. So, so I guess you have many na neighbors here, because uh, many bases here, right? Yeah, many bases here. So when you when you took over this area, were the rooms upstairs still locked? Because there were three doors upstairs that were locked in flat roof. Did you un did you raid them or are they still locked? They have it's so okay. much shit. Like so much shit, it's not even a joke. Yeah. We won't destroy. We won't destroy. I don't I don't care if you take something, but um please don't destroy. We won't destroy, don't worry. We we don't grief. When did you move here? Keep an eye on him, bro. Him, mate. It's a fucking him. I don't. Don't uh, lock my friend inside there, please. You can drop the duct tape for me. It's in your hands. Fuck! Did I get this shit, man? Uh, it's ruined. Never mind. What do, what do you what do you do when you go into a house and there's shit in? What do you mean shit in? <laughs> well, I mean uh, what? Something you what don't I mean... need. Okay, well you go somewhere else. If you take yeah, the well, items but, but from the building, here. yeah yeah. If you take the items from the building and place them outside to let more items spawn, that's called loot cycling. And it's against the rules. Mm. Nothing explosives. I'm, I'm just trying to look for C4. Oh, good. Okay. Do you have any raiding tools? Any C4? Any explosives? Mm, nope. You don't? Okay. Yeah, you wouldn't find that down here in Dolnik, I don't think. It's See, this is the best first... part about the game. It's my first uh, first person uh, server, so yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's good. A little bit, a bit different for me. Yeah, this is the way to play the game. It's good fun. Mm. No, they even any type on the door. Okay, so Kate, I'd like what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to close your base for me. Just close the doors, and then come and let us out of the main gate, and then we'll leave you alone to do whatever you want. We appreciate that you've been uh, cooperative. Mm. So if you could open the front gate, it's just easier than us jumping onto a building and jumping out. A vehicle, man. I'm gonna have to kill him, by the way. Oh. Hey. Yeah. I got so much shit, man. It's ridiculous. I got so many pliers, so many tire kits. Now you're probably wondering why I killed her after she let us inside the base and let us leave unharmed. Well there's two reasons for this. The first is having such a large enemy presence in town who would loot cycling which is against the rules. And the second is because we can. Thanks for watching this video. And I'll see you in the next episode.